Police torture in Sri Lanka has been researched by many human rights organizations. In this series, we will present cases researched by the Asian Human Rights Commission based in Hong Kong. Over a period of nearly 15 years, the AHRC has documented thousands of cases of police torture. These cases have been publicized locally and internationally. A complaint has been made to the Sri Lankan authorities regarding each of these cases. Usually, complaints are also sent to UN agencies dealing with human rights abuse. Police torture is a common practice throughout all police stations in Sri Lanka. The history of police torture goes back to the very origins of the establishment of the police force by the British. The colonial officers, having learned of the frequency of the practice of torture in the country, promulgated a law which is enshrined in the evidence ordinance, which prohibits the admission of any form of confession made to a public officer in a criminal trial. However, that did not discourage the use of torture. Torture by the police exists because there is no political will to stop the practice. The Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel and Inhuman or Degrading Treatment Act, which is popularly known as the CAT Act, was promulgated in 1994, but has not been pursued with the required political will, and therefore the practice of torture infests all criminal investigations. Thousands of complaints have been made about torture by way of fundamental rights applications before the Supreme Court. However, in the famous case of Gerard Pereira, the Supreme Court itself observed that complaints of torture are on the increase. The police are identified in the popular mind as those who cause torture, and a police station is usually associated as a place where bones will be broken. The recorded cases demonstrate that the forms of torture used are extremely cruel and often result in serious physical injuries to the body, including the internal organs. Frequently, people die as a result of custodial torture. Among the many causes of torture is the fact that the complaint recording and investigations into crime provides opportunities for corruption by the police. Family members of suspects will pay anything to get the police to release suspects or at least avoid torturing them. The failure to modernize the policing system and to establish a proper system of control may be due to political reasons, as a truly humane and efficient police service will be a barrier to various forms of the abuse of power. The UN Special Rapporteur on Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman or Degrading Treatment or Punishment and other UN agencies have made extensive recommendations for the el elimination of torture. However, the Sri Lankan government has failed to implement any of these recommendations. For more details about police torture in Sri Lanka, kindly refer to the websites of the Asian Human Rights Commission and its publications.